Um, no. Uh, <laughs> but the good news, the field's amazing. Uh, guys were really positive about that. The other good news is we got three points out of the game. Uh, showed some resiliency, some fight back a couple of occasions. Um, really some things that we got to, to work on and deal with. Again, too many soft goals tonight um, that keep putting us in this position we have to fight back from. And then some other things inside the game that we've got to continue to clean up. But uh, the, the one thing that's great out of this is this first six, seven games is we can score goals. Um, but we've got a flip side, we've got to stop conceding goals. He came off uh, hamstring tightness. He was once we got that third goal, you could, you know, you could tell he was uh, <clears throat> at that point. He was win the game and let's see where happened. He was a uh, was feeling tight, like he couldn't really open up. And I felt like he looked a little bit like that the whole game, he was <coughs> struggling getting going. And uh, so just got him out. Are you seeing the same errors on the defensive miscues or the variety? <laughs> um. There's some similarities in some things, I think. Um, but it's, for me, it's sometimes like sourcing where they're coming from. Sometimes they are, um, you know, the first one is the ball in behind our back line, which it's fine, it's running on to Alex. I think, to be honest, I think Alex has to clear it, whether that's with his head or his knee or his foot or anything. It's, uh, I think he, I haven't spoken to him yet. My guess is that he was trying to pause to let it get inside the box so he could catch it but the player got there before he got there. So that means it's the wrong decision and we took a goal because of it. So um, <clears throat> I've got to think through some of the goals in the game. There's so many goals in the game, I honestly can't remember how all of them sourced all of them, but uh, we've got to be better, you know, from our back line to our individual defending to uh, on the course of the night, I think even just getting pressure to the ball and to the service was, was lacking. Uh, I thought we looked um, a little bit a little bit slow sometimes in getting across to people and getting pressure to the ball. And I think they they were able to find little pockets of time and face forward and look at us and run at us too often over the course of the game. We were what I call losing time too much and unable to control many of their attacks, which puts you at, uh, in a little bit of jeopardy. We talked about Jordan's contributions. You mentioned him being reliable and the next step. Who's this? Jordan? Yeah, I mean, I think what Jordan did tonight is uh, really what Jordan does is I think he can come on and in bursts he can he knows how to find the front of the goal. He can you know he's got he's shown over the years a knack to to put the ball in the back of the net. Um, sometimes you know he doesn't have the greatest performances, but he still gets his chances, and that's just Jordan has that he has that nose for the goal. Um, so, you know, for a night like tonight, that's perfect. You know, again, just in terms of the things that Jordan, for, for me, and for him to get more and more minutes is to be able to do the right things within the concept of the team for 90 minutes. That doesn't necessarily mean scoring goals every minute, but it means being able to defend with the group and be able to hold up the play and things like that. So that's what we're continuing to work on with Jordan, but for sure he's showing progress and uh, obviously coming on tonight with two huge goals to, to help us uh, salvage three points. So is Buzz Wallace stop surprising you, Greg, or? Uh, yeah, I mean he's a, he's a quality player who in in can do special things in special moments. Uh, what's interesting is I thought he he got off to a really rough start. He was uh, having a hard time connecting, things a little bit slow, and then kind of out of nowhere, bang bang, he gets two goals, uh, which um, which is nice. That's what you can do when when you're a difference making type of player. Did you have any beef with the penalty call? I haven't seen it closely to. Um, in, in real time, I did, <coughs> but I, don't, I haven't seen it closely enough. So, Greg, it's two starts for Richie. What have you made of the way he sort of fit to the position? I think he's done a solid job in, in both games. You know, uh, I could nitpick probably details because he's still learning the position. Um, <clears throat> a couple of things, you know, obviously that defenders do marking at the back post on one that, across that. I think a more experienced right back kind of deals with that a little bit better. Richie maybe got caught kind of in between, um, but is he's comfortable on the ball, which is, it helps us to start attacks. He's uh, he's got great quickness. He's a uh, he's an aware defender in terms of being able to defend in one v one situations. The two games he started, we've you know we had a fair amount of the ball, and so I think it plays in his favor because he didn't have to do a ton of defending, um, and so. 
but he's still he's still learning uh, how to work with the guy in front of him, how to position the guy in front of him into better positions to help himself out, things like that. Um, and I think, you know, I think he's still trying to work also with the players inside of him. You know, whether that be Laurent and Drew, Drew's more of a communicator than Laurent, so that might help uh, help Richie just a little bit more. So things like that. But I think he's, I'm happy with his the progress that he's making in the, in the position. It was an ugly challenge on Pozuelo late. Is he okay? Yeah. What did you make of? Yeah, he's okay. Yeah, dumb. Yeah. yeah. So, dumb challenge, and you get sent off for dumb challenges. That's the way it works. Do, do you also feel like uh, a win like tonight, and there's been a couple of them this year, like they're just wins that you wouldn't have, points you wouldn't have come away with last season? Yeah, possibly. I mean, it, you hope these things even out because we felt like we probably dropped a, a couple in the last, uh, sometime in the last two, two games. And so tonight we probably salvaged a couple of those. So we're probably somewhere about where we need, we should be. Um, but I also look, the points are fantastic. We always need to take the points, but we also need to be making progress as a team. And um, there's a few things tonight, I think, that we need to be more connected and moving together better and being able to control the opposition better. Uh, I thought we were loose with the ball sometimes. Um, we still, <clears throat> I felt like we didn't really ever get out of sort of third gear and, on the night. And, uh, you know, we, we were able to escape it. Let's just put it that way. Um, for the next, uh, Coach, for the for the upcoming games, will uh, you consider an attack for your team being um, Pozuelo as the cam and starting Hamilton along with Altidore? Uh, it's always a, it's a consideration. Um, but it's, it's something we have to look at because it's not just about how we attack. It's also about how we defend and, and certain things like that. So it's definitely something that I think we can use. That's why we brought it in. We switched to a diamond. So um, that was the reason we wanted to, to try to control, get the extra forward, try to control the middle of the field. They were overloading the middle. And so we switched to that to try to um, start to unbalance them a little bit more defensively. It worked out. It doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean that it's the solution for all things, but it worked out for tonight. Thanks, guys. Thank you.